Okay, so I'm at the uh, 626 uh, Sienna Way, Bel Air. And then this is a listing by Felix Pena. And then it's listed for $45 million. And luckily, uh, the listing agent gave me a permission to film it here. So we'll start from the uh, motor court. As you can see the brick layout. So that's very expensive um, floor here, motor court. And then this feels like a very uh, classic home with a great view so let me just look around here first just to get a sense of it i see okay so it's one of those houses that has incredible views yeah so that's a very contemporary whereas this one will be a more traditional okay so we're entering in and there's some good portion of gardening here and they got this uh, interesting shaped window that's supposedly show the uh, class of a home and that's the listing agent right there so and we're supposed to wipe it here nice wood floorings uh, as soon as we enter it in it has these incredible views okay so the staircase is actually showing the uh, view so that's actually important the drama is then created when you're coming down here and see the views so that's very good okay so this will be the guest bathroom very clean modern i see nice flooring okay and then this will be the guest i mean like a family room or living room with a fireplace of course i see look at that chandelier very traditional and look at those moldings very very interesting okay so you enter it in additional living room here uh, and then they got a little bit of a whip bar okay okay so this would be the wine cellars temperature controlled right here this would be the more traditional one. Oh, okay they are controlling the uh, wine here uh, temperature of the wine room here okay look at that chandelier very nice Okay, that's also very interesting. Okay. okay, so this is definitely the uh, indoor outdoor living space here, which signifies the uh, California living. And then they have this very beautiful chandelier as well. Oh, and then this is what you get. This is the view. I see. Beautiful gardening here. shape of it is very inward I see so yeah definitely enjoy the party here look at that beer yeah very nice okay then as we go in here oh uh, so do they have an additional gardening here let's see what kind of garden oh, okay they have a lot of gardening here, that's why. Let me see what that leads to. Okay. Uh, okay, so they pretty much have a pretty good size of a lot. Let's turn it into a garden. And you can pretty much work out here, like I'm doing. Let me see. How far it goes. Oh, okay. So it comes up. So you can almost enjoy a little walk here. That's the beauty of it. Okay. Oh, look at this bridge here. Oh, they even have a waterfall here. I see. Okay. Oh, and then. I got this little cozy sitting area. I'm gonna sit here, man. I 
if you sit here, yeah, you can kind of enjoy the views. So, I see. Oh, is it? Okay, I gotta check that out. Man, I gotta check out the land first. The landscape is pretty amazing here. Oh, that part might be. There's like a little bit of a pond here. That looks like a very uh, Japanese garden here. Oh, wow. So this is a, actually a really huge lot with a beautiful gardening. Wow. So you get to enjoy this. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Huh. Ah, I see. Oh, that is definitely a Japanese one. created this uh, whole Japanese garden around here. Wow. I see. Huh. Do they have a shrine inside? I see. Oh, so the appeal of this property is actually within the uh, landscape. So let's go down there and then explore a little bit more. There's a great documentaries on gardening and landscape in the uh, Amazon Prime. And it talks about this uh, Canadian gardener and how he started to develop uh, gardening skills. And each gardening, uh, if I remember correctly, wherever you m move, it's supposed to create a drama. And this garden feels like the garden that uh, the documentary was talking about. Yeah, look at this. Man, I'm exploring the gardening first. Huh. Yeah, I thought the uh, the price tag was 45 million and I was curious where the uh, appeal of the property is and I can now totally see it. Okay, so yes, they definitely created the uh, whole Japanese garden here. People are just going to check out the property I mean the home itself, the building, but they really need to come down here and take a look at this garden. Look at this luscious garden right here. Yeah, that's what you, you get. Your own private garden. And look at the sitting area. That's completely a meditation area for sure. Let's see. And look at this beautiful plants around here. Okay, so let's go down here. There's so many uh, focal points in this gardening. So they got the little bit of a pond here as well. Okay, that's a banana tree. Oh wow, it feels like a fisherman's village in Japan. And then you can put a little bit of a light there. Wow. Very, very authentic. Huh. Oh, look at that. Check this out. Wow. Did you see that? Huh. Nice. Okay. That's a stunning garden. Very traditional. It's incredible. Did they, oh no. they even have the traditional, oh. oh wow, they even have a pillow inside, but I think they closed it off for privacy reasons, yeah, that's better to, not to touch it too much. Okay, let's explore the other gardening area, okay. Huh. They also got a, another small house over there. Oh, look at that. They got a duck there. Do you guys see that? They got a duck there. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Okay. This is a very interesting. <laughs> I'm doing the uh, landscaping tour almost. Okay. Oh, wow. Check this 
out. What is this building? Oh, they got a bathroom here. I see. And this would be a jacuzzi of some sorts, I think. I see. So, of course, they got a little bit of a sitting area here as well. Where you can probably enjoy the uh, dinner of some sort. I see. Let's try to go here. Oh, outdoor bar area. Here to entertain. While enjoying this garden. Look at that. Wow. Man. It's American. They love Japanese garden, huh? Oh, look at that. Okay, so they definitely got the bamboo trees there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Additional pond here. Oh, this garden is dedicated to the memory of the Ethel Giverson, president of the California Garden Club. I see. So this garden was actually built by the president of the Garden Club. Okay, makes sense. Oh, Hana Lock Japanese Garden. Hana Locke Carter Japanese Garden, for sure. Wow. So in this $45 million home has this incredibly beautiful luscious garden. <laughs> so yeah, this is interesting, fascinating. Yeah. I'm saying too much yeah, so someone pointed out that in the comments, so I should not be saying that. Okay, and then let's just walk around here just to see the view. Oh, very traditional garden for sure. Yeah, I'm actually really glad that uh, I came to the garden first. Oh, wow. Very, very Japanese. Oh, I see. Oh, I gotta walk here, man. Look at that. Oh, I see. <laughs> nice. All right. Now it's the uphill, so I'm gonna be doing some climbing it up. I'm gonna try to go to a different route just to get a different perspective. Hmm. This way. Okay. Oh. Fascinating. So if someone loves a uh, good landscaping, they should definitely come to this property. Today's a broker's caravan, meaning all the agents are seeing the property. I haven't encountered any single real estate agent in this beautiful garden, and you guys are missing out. But my viewers or my followers are not missing out. Okay. All right. Let me try to go this way. Wow, oh, that's a good amount of workout. California President, uh, California Garden Club's President Garden. Yeah. I said, yeah, again. Oh my God. Oh, uh, so they have the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, where you can just drink some water, fountain almost everywhere. Okay, so this would be the traditional way how the Asians or East builds the foundation and they just lay the uh, wood on the, uh, on the stone. So what's really fascinating is that South Korea didn't really have the building that's three story. Whereas Japan, they knew how to control the wood. So they would be building up to three story or even higher. Very, very, so you got this traditional 
Western home. And underneath it is a com complete Japanese garden hiding. Fascinating. Okay, now we came up back to the property. Yep, back to this uh, very, uh, I would say, a New England colonial type of home. What's really fascinating is that you see those uh, round tree window. If you have those kind of windows, it used to be implemented in the uh, Japanese castle when the uh, when it was a feudal society, because each lord uh, were always in battle, and then that was used as a space where you shoot the error, errors. So I did a tour on the full garden down there. Yeah, yeah. beautiful garden there. You, you have plants? Oh, I wish. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll show it to the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. keep it in mind. Okay. Yeah. And now we're heading up to the second floor. Let's see. Uh, okay, look at this molding. Very clean. Oh, wow. They do have the uh, a lot of the uh, Japanese influence, meaning that it's very clean line. Is it till 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock? Okay, good sitting area. Nice flooring. Let's check this out. Okay. Okay. Laundry room. Additional staircase. Okay. So there's two entry points. Oh wow. That rock looks like a like a flower almost. Beautiful master bedroom, I think. Closet. Oh, very white. Okay. So they don't have the skylight, so. They actually brighten up by implementing a lot of the white color here. This will be the master bedroom. Beautiful chandelier. Oh, I see. Additional closet here for either him and her. And additional bath. Oh, look at that. Wow. A lot of windows. Huh. Oh, and did they even have an AC there? That's beautiful. Okay. And then they have a little bit of a sitting area and they have a balcony as well. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Okay. And then additional bedroom here. Very spacious. And the molding looks very classic and classy. I see. Okay, additional bathroom, and then this would be the closet. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Whew, I'm sweating based off of my walk to the garden. And then additional bedroom here. Let's see, oh, where's the closet? Okay, so this will be the closet. Bathroom here, of course. Oh, so this balcony is reserved for the uh, master bedroom, most likely. Let me see. Okay, all the bathrooms are very clean and remodeled. So, very beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that was the tour for this incredible um, garden property or Okay, so thank you for watching guys, and this will be the drama from the staircase.